how to become an expert at cat training. Train your cat to do something unusual and show your friends that your pet can do more than just eat and sleep. You will need a veterinarian, cat treats, cat food, a bell or clicker, praise, double-sided tape, aluminum foil, and patience. Optional, 10 to 15 minutes a day, disinfectant and spray repellent. Step one, schedule an examination for your cat with your veterinarian before you begin training. You wanna make sure they don't have any health problems that may be aggravated by training. Step two, make sure you have your cat's undivided attention. Eliminate distractions such as music and television sounds. Cats are naturally curious, so you may need to show them a treat. Hold it in your fingertips and let them smell it, but don't give it to them. Step three, teach your cat one trick at a time. If you try to combine tricks or start a new trick before the first is mastered, you're likely to confuse them. Spend 10 to 15 minutes a day on a single trick until they've mastered it. Step four, give the cat a reward each time they perform the desired behavior. You can use their favorite food, treats, or pet them as a reward. After they get the hang of the behavior, give the reward less often. Step five, ring a bell or click a clicker when the cat performs the trick or behavior that you are teaching and praise the cat for good behavior. Eventually, they will associate the sound and praise with the action and won't need rewards. Step six, discourage undesirable behavior with deterrence. If your cat scratches furniture, apply double-sided tape to where they scratch to deter them. If they go to the bathroom outside of their litter box, lay sheets of aluminum foil where they go. Cats are averse to these textures. Thoroughly clean the area where the cat went with disinfectant and spray a repellent available at pet supply stores. Step seven, appreciate the time you share with your cat. The training process takes patience, but you may find that it's a bonding experience too. Did you know, as of 2005, approximately 30% of American households had cats? How to train a cat to go to the bathroom outside. Find freedom from constantly changing the box with tips to get Kitty to do her business outside. You will need a litter tray and cat litter, dirt and leaves, and patience. Optional, a pet door. Step one, move the litter box close to the door the cat will use to go outside. Show the cat the new location of their litter box. Keep the box there for a few weeks until they are familiar with the location. Step two, add some dirt and leaves to the box to introduce elements of the outdoors to your cat's bathroom experience. Step three, move the box just outside the door. Gently pick your kitty up and place them in the box. If they are hesitant to use it, add more dirt and leaves to the box to blend in with the outdoor elements. Consider adding a pet door to their exit door for easier access. Step four, Gradually move the box farther from the door over several days once they're using the box outside regularly. This will get your cat used to being further away from the house. Step five, remove the box and sprinkle some litter on the ground in the place you want your cat to relieve itself. Once your cat is used to going outside, you may place a box indoors for those times when your cat doesn't have outdoor access. Now revel in the joy of not having to clean the litter box anymore. Did you know? The first cat litter, called kitty litter, was invented in 1947. Before that time, people used sand or ashes in litter boxes. How to train your cat not to bite. Although cats bite instinctively, you can curb this tendency by appropriate training. You will need a game of play fighting. Optional, a spray bottle. Step one, engage the cat or kitten in a game of play fighting. This will arouse the cat's natural tendency to bite. Step two, Stop the game as soon as you see the cat begin to expose its claws or teeth. Wait for the cat to calm down and then resume the game. Step three, continue playing with the cat. If the cat bites or scratches you, let out a scream. Stop playing and ignore the cat. Consider spraying the cat with a spray bottle filled with water if the cat continues to bite you. A small spritz in the area of the cat's face is enough, but be careful not to spray the cat's ears. Step four, Observe the areas on the cat's body that are most sensitive to contact, typically the mouth, paws, ears, and tail. When sensitive areas are touched, there is a tendency for the cat to start biting. Step 5. Touch one of the sensitive areas on the cat's body for a second. Then, give the cat a treat. Step 6. Gradually increase the amount of time that you are in contact with the sensitive area. Do this until the cat learns to tolerate increasing levels of contact there. Step 7. Repeat this procedure with other sensitive areas that provoke biting. 
Now you should have a cat whose meow is worse than its bite. Did you know? Cats have two sets of teeth, a first set that they lose when they are still young, and a permanent set. How to train your cat to behave. Here's the thing. Dogs will do things just to please you, but cats want to know what's in it for them. You will need the patience of Job, consistency, food treats, spray bottle of water, and a scratching post. Optional, bubble wrap, sticky paper, or aluminum foil. Step one, stock up on treats. The first rule of cat training is that kitty isn't gonna do a darn thing you say unless you reward her with something tasty. Step two, be consistent. If you don't want your cat sleeping with you, then you're gonna have to put up with several sleepless nights listening to her pathetic mewling until she learns you are immune to her ploys for pity. Step three, fill a spray bottle with water and give her a little squirt when she's misbehaving. The key is to spray her only when you catch her in the act. Otherwise, she'll think you're sadistic. Step four, redirect your cat when she's tearing up your furniture by picking her up and placing her paws on a scratching post. Give her a treat if she starts pawing it. Train a cat to stay off your furniture by placing bubble wrap on it. The loud noise will frighten her off. In the unlikely event she enjoys the popping noises her claws make, try sticky paper or aluminum foil. Step five. Give your cat quality time each and every day. Cats mostly get into mischief when they're bored and or angry with you for ignoring them. Give them plenty of attention and they won't try to get it back by chewing up your favorite sling bags. Did you know? Inappropriate elimination, that is, not using the litter box, is the most frequent complaint of cat owners. How to teach a cat to walk on a leash. Give your indoor cat quality time outside by going for a walk. You will need an H-type harness, a leash, treats, and patience. Step one, use a small H-type harness that fits the cat and a cotton or nylon leash. A harness fits if you can barely get a finger between the cat and the harness. Step two, get the cat used to the harness by putting it on them without buckling it. Put the harness on the cat during playtime when the cat is more likely to feel comfortable. Step three, reward your cat with plenty of treats and affection. Petting your cat during your training sessions will help your feline friend associate the harness with positive feelings. Step four, continue putting the harness on the cat each day until the cat ignores it. After that, you can buckle one of the harness's loops for 30 seconds. Step five, Build up to buckling the entire harness one loop at a time. The process can take several months. Once your cat is comfortable with the harness completely buckled, let them walk around while wearing it. Step six, add the leash when your cat is comfortable with the harness. Let them walk around with the leash for as long as it takes to get used to it. Step seven, go for practice walks around the house for a few days. Step eight, Go for a walk when your cat is used to you holding the leash. Let them lead you on the first few walks. Bring treats along for encouragement. Make sure it is quiet outside when you go for your walk. You don't want your cat to get spooked. Step nine, tug the leash lightly to lead the cat on subsequent walks. Step 10, be patient. Teaching a cat to walk on a leash takes time. Take the training process day by day, moving on to each step only when your cat is ready. Did you know? Only 20% of pet cats are adopted from shelters. How to use the best cat training tips and techniques. Contrary to legend, cats can be trained. Just think of the big cats in the circus if you have any doubts. Get your cat purring and doing what you want it to do. You will need treats, attention, praise, a sound, and short training sessions. Optional, an absence of punishment. Step one. Find treats that your cat cannot resist. This will be the reward when training your cat using positive reinforcement. Cats respond poorly to punishment. Step two, get your cat's attention. Then move the treat around the cat in such a way that you encourage the desired behavior. This could be, for example, sitting on its haunches. Step three, give the cat the treat as you offer praise and then pet it. Step four, 
Introduce a distinctive sound, such as a whistle or the sound made by a clicker, as you teach the cat new behavior. The cat will learn to associate the sound with the desired behavior. Step 5. Teach the cat to come to you by creating an association between the cat's name or some other sound and the treat. Step 6. Keep training sessions short. Your cat's attention span probably won't exceed 10 minutes at best. When the cat has a few tricks mastered, enter it in a talent show. Or just be glad it comes when called. Did you know? Based on Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats by poet T.S. Eliot, the musical Cats ran on Broadway for 18 years.